November 5th, 2017. Welcome to Bruce Sees All. And please, if you get a chance, check out BruceSeesAll.com, my website. If ever this beautiful channel goes down, please head to BruceSeesAll.com on WordPress. Welcome, everyone. This is Beetlejuice. I caught this on November 4th, last night, during the full moon. Uh, beautiful full moon, the beaver moon, by the way. Um, very close. I got some great footage. After this video, I will uh, and am right now working on the north side of the moon footage that I promised to get up, that I had some nice close-up footage. It was a nice clear night until the clouds set in. Of course, as they usually do ever so often. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the surface um, of Betelgeuse, yes, in the constellation of Orion. And we're seeing either gases or whatever's going on on the surface. I have no idea. This is Betelgeuse. It's massive, it's gigantic, many times larger, many hundreds if not thousands of times larger than the sun. Uh, I think it's 2,000 times, isn't it? Anyways, it's massive. And uh, what is this beautiful little angel or scorpion? I don't know, a dragon? I mean, there's so many shapes. Stingray, it has a tail, uh, that's for sure. And we were able to see the authentic object spiraling by and i'll tell you this i only got it in one direction and it's this direction here i didn't even get a chance to see it spiraling it was going so fast so how fast exactly do meteors uh, go when analyzing meteors asteroids meteoroids planetoids you have to know what you're talking about and we often get mixed up with which one exactly are we talking about well first of all let's talk about some of the speeds of meteors how fast are meteorites traveling when they reach the ground? Well, meteoroids, these are space rocks. They come from Halley's Comet and other comets that leave debris in space of rock, ice, and debris. So this debris gets heavy, falls down, um, creates drag, then heats up, ignites, then hits the atmosphere, lights up, the trail can be millions of kilometers long, the trails on these, and we're talking a minimum of 11 kilometers per second to 75 kilometers per second, guys. 25,000 miles per hour as a minimum, and it can go up to almost 165,000 kilometers an hour. We're talking almost 300,000, sorry, 160,000 miles an hour, guys, which is almost 300,000 uh, kilometers an hour. This is something that a lot of us don't realize that these things, and they are going fast. So we're talking a bit about meteor terminology. First of all, a quick basic about some space rocks, guys. Asteroids, we're talking about small rocky iron or icy debris flying in space. You know, it could be from one meter to hundreds of kilometers. A solid body made of ice is the comet. It's made of ice, rock, dust, and frozen gases as they fracture and disintegrate some comets leave a trail of solid debris. So nucleus, a solid part, were ten, tens of kilometers for solid pieces, and a tail, millions of kilometers. So we have the asteroid, the comet, and now the meteor. A meteor shower is an annual event when the Earth passes through a region having a great concentration of debris, such as particles left by a comet from Earth. It looks like meteors radiate from the same point in the night sky. That's interesting. So what about meteoroids? Well, we're talking about a small asteroid from microns to one meter. That is a meteoroid. The light emitted from a meteoroid or an asteroid as it enters the atmosphere is what happens when we see it ignite. And that is a meteor, a fireball, a meteor brighter than the planet Venus. Ooh. Well, I saw a fireball yesterday and a meteor. So now we're able to uh, rate them a bit better. What is a bolid? B-O-L-I-D-E. The light emitted from a large meteoroid or an asteroid as it explodes in the atmosphere. I got one shot of that, guys, and I got it up a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to have to find that photo and show it to you. What is a meteorite? It has to hit the ground for it to become a meteorite, a fragment of a meteoroid or an asteroid that survives passage through the atmosphere and hits the ground. It could be from a few grams to several dozens of tons.
So, North Torrid, South Torrid, meteor shower was on yesterday, and it's tonight. I won't get it because of the rain, but it's possibly what I saw. So we're talking about five meteors per hour, maybe six, seven maximum. So I have to be pretty lucky to say that I caught this, and we see the um, object in the center there very well. So we're talking definitely a meteoroid or a comet, for sure. Uh, there's a trail, definite trail, and it was pretty wide, so some of these comets can be big, and some of them can have long trails in space. Not to miss, on November 12th, the northern torrids run from October 19th to December 10th annually, every year. They can, they can always be seen. The weak shower, well only, with only five meteors per hour, guys, at the peak, is derived from material left by the passage of periodic comet 2P ENCKE -E, and of course other comets that go by. The debris is larger than average grains. Other often produce colorful fireballs. Guys, I saw the fireball enter on the 4th yesterday. A yellow fireball and its skirt was red, fiery, intense, purplish red and it had a trail, a yellow bright orange trail. Very uh, glittery. It was beautiful and I saw it at very low atmosphere in the very low atmosphere uh, going from south to north. We're looking at the surface of Betelgeuse in a way most of you probably won't understand. Whether it be gases that we're looking at, no matter what it is, it's the surface guys. It's what's uh, going on, the activity. It could be sulfur bubbling up, it could be plasma, it could be fire, it could be storms, it could be mountains. Whatever it may be, I'm just showing you what I'm able to get. Very high tech technique to be able to get the surface. It's working and I'm really happy about it. These are the website contributors from John Douglas all the way down to Barbara Germain. Thanks guys, that telescope's going to be ordered AM tomorrow morning. No jokes. Please check out WSO YouTube channel. Guys, it's the time now to see what's going on in the skies. And when I want to see what's going on in the sky, I head over to WSO YouTube channel because he always um, uh, gets what's going on in many different places from many different people. Some people in science, some astronomers, amateur astronomers. He's looking on the, the higher platforms. So take a look.